Ugh, your website, your own online brochure or magazine, and your goal is to get people to stay on your website for as long as possible. That's why in this video, we're going to break down eight different ways to increase your user's experience on your website. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Kyle. I'm the content manager here at Contract Growth Network, and my goal is to make videos like this one to help you grow your business. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one, optimize your website for site stability and page loading times. We've all been on a website that absolutely refuses to load, and to be honest, there is nothing more frustrating than that. In fact, studies have shown that 40 to 50% of people will leave a website if it does not load in three seconds or less. Some steps you can take to ensure that your website is loading quickly are one, reducing the file size of images on your website, two, optimizing your CSS for loading speed, three, start using a content delivery network, and four, prioritizing loading the critical elements first, such as videos on your site. Our second tip branches off of the first one, which is going to be routinely checking how fast your site actually loads. This allows you to establish a baseline and always be able to monitor the health of your website. You can use a Google Chrome extension called Lighthouse to give you a high level overview report of your site. The report measures performance, accessibility, and SEO results as well. Our third tip, don't ignore your mobile users. Your personal computer is no longer a thing and searching on your smartphone has become faster and way more frequent because it's always with you. That's why your mobile website has become more and more important over the last five years. The basics of the site should remain the same, such as logos, colors, elements, and navigation, but things like sizing will have to change. If you can optimize your website for a mobile experience using a responsive design, it's going to improve your user experience greatly. Bonus tip if you didn't know, a responsive design is a website theme that allows your site to look pretty consistent across many different devices. We are halfway home and our fourth tip is going to be creating clarity and consistency across your website. Site. There are three things that your website needs to accomplish. Number one, it needs to clearly define what your company does. It also has to allow users to easily navigate to the pages they are interested in. And number three is it cannot overwhelm them with a cluttered design. Your website should follow a simple theme and process that guides users throughout different pages on your website. Number five, maybe my favorite tip on this entire video, do not go overboard on flashy features and flashy design. You can do a ton of cool, creative, and unique things on your website. It's kind of like a kid in a candy store with a $20 bill. It's very easy to get ahead of yourself and fill your bucket up with candy, or in this case, it's very easy to stuff every feature onto your website. But please, for the love of God, don't do this. Just because you can do it, doesn't mean that you should. All in all, this can make your website load slower as well as completely derail the user's experience because now they feel overwhelmed at all the different things on your website. Simply put, before you add a feature to your website, you should ask yourself what the value of having this on your site is. And if you can't answer that, you probably shouldn't have it. Tip number six is balance your website's function and its aesthetic. Before we can get into actually designing the website, we first need to understand what the function of the website is going to be and what pages are necessary for our website to have. If we're building out a website for a landscaping company, we're going to need the following. A homepage explaining what the company does, dedicated service pages highlighting the services they provide, pricing pages for prospects to get a better understanding of how much their project will cost, and a process page to outline exactly what it looks like to work with that company. Once we know how the website is meant to function, we can now start to actually design around it. It's so much easier to design a website where you're using the design to simply fill in the gaps of the information on the web page. Going along with number six is step number seven, which is keep your website readable. If you have great content, that's cool, but if no one can read it, who really cares? Stay away from fancy fonts, clashing colors, and a clustered design. Keep the layout of your site super simple, and again, a responsive web design is one of the best ways to do this. And finally, that brings us to step number eight, which is perform regular user experience testing. Earlier, we talked about checking your website's speed and performance, but what about how the site actually looks and feels? 
Go through your website on several devices in order to get the best understanding of what the user is viewing on each. You can actually use the inspect tool to view your website across many different devices and it's a super useful tool. Doing this will help you find errors on your site such as missing links, broken links, typos, or poor image quality. From there, you can make your adjustments accordingly. And there you have it. Those are eight different ways to increase your website's user experience, but we're not done yet because you're gonna click this video right here all about the top website trends of 2023.